hi hi and welcome back to enigma an illusion named family when we last left off ooh, i think i can open this with a screwdriver oh god please not one of these events again i have trauma now from this oh sh that noise it's yuna had joined our party and uh we had not explored the second floor at all yet red ointment is that the oh that's the floor beneath oh that's neat we should find where the is she like oh my god could you not please you know i like my personal space so now we gotta keep an eye out for those vents because apparently we can actually go through them now 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 brown cow now chocolate bar good we need the chocolate bar holy crap Okay. Oh, we had another chocolate bar. Hmm. Save again. Uh, hidden Yuna. <gasps> Her face. Okay. I don't see anybody, so... I think we're in the clear. Yeah, and that's about to walk into another area, so... Oh, shit! I was wrong, I was wrong, I was wrong, I was full of shit, I was lying, I was lying, I was lying, I was lying, we're not in the clear, I don't know where he came from! Oh god! Oh, that's there's a shutter or something in the way! Okay, let's go upstairs. Oh, really, really upstairs. Can I hide here? Yes. Okay. Oh, Yuna, could you not? At least it's not reverse, I suppose. Oh god. Okay, we're gonna go down. And hope we don't run into him magically appearing ahead of us again. So, today we learned there's a second set of stairs now. <laughs> oh god, this area is so big. I can't tell where the killer might or might not be. So yeah, there is- that is a shutter. That's what I thought it was. It looked like a safety barricade kind of thing. <sighs> okay, there's nothing down. We already looked that way. I thought I saw doors up here. Yeah, I did see doors up here. Okay. Let's go in here. Or not. It's locked. I don't think I can open it by myself. <laughs> Yuna is apparently just chopped liver. Alright, so I think I've circled now. Oh, please no killer, please no killer, please no killer. <sighs> I don't see one. Oh, you can't hide there. <laughs> anybody, anybody? No? Okay, we're gonna run real quick. And we're gonna go in... Was it here? Yeah, it was here. Okay. So what is this? Some kind of... Oh! Looks like standing right next to something. Hmm, where is this wind coming from? When I stood near the picture of the wall, I could feel a weak flow of air on my face. Looking closely, there was a hole. Oh, God. <sighs> Could you not, game? I am- oh. Fuck. Uh, I'm gonna get like a screwdriver in the eyeball or something. Ah, uh, peek through the hole. I think I saved not too far along. I put an eye near the hole and peeked inside. Oh, please don't stab me in the eye. Please don't stab me in the eye. Please don't stab me in the eye. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Shit. Blue eyes. There was an eye staring back at me. I could feel the madness. What is it? Can hear footsteps. Oh shit. Uh uh What do I do? Uh maybe I can move this? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, he's actively trying to get in the room. Whew, just in time. Now what's that sound? Oh, flashbacks to Five Nights at Freddy's. That's what that sound is. Push the clock to block it. Uh 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80. This one's giving me a lot more time than other shit, though. Oh. Ha! Fuck you! Get clocked! Clock block. <laughs> Phew! Just in time! Well, that was close. We decided to wait a little longer until everything went quiet. Okay. Would it be alright now? Let's go outside quietly. Let's... Let's not, because there was something on this table. 
This is a cigarette case. My older sister Tiyun used to smoke. She always takes it with her. Where can she be? I am... Try smoking? Fuck it. Shall I try it? I have matchsticks so convenient- Ch <laughs> What the heck are you thinking? Smoking in here! What? I'm an adult? Stop being my mom. What if a teenager is watching? What if you get picked up by the Ministry of Gender Equality and Family? The Ministry of Korean Government. Okay, okay, I was just saying. <laughs> okay. Let's eat a chocolate bar, because we've been in this dark for a long, long time. And let's go ahead and save. Here. Let's try it again. Cigarette case. I am investigating. Ouch! Another headache! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, she's literally blowing smoke. Cough, cough. Oh, you don't like smoke? <laughs> I didn't know. Sorry. You did know. Anywho, are you going to just stand and watch our firstborn Minho do whatever he wants? If we let him have his own way, we are stuck in this house forever without a penny of the legacy left for us. What can we do anyways? We can't become the heir by force. Oh, why are you being so cool? Since when were you so obedient, my brother Samoon? By the way, I heard that you used up all the money you had to make up for your accident. Tch, it's none of your business. It was not my fault. Not me. So, are you going to be in trouble if you can't get some of the inheritance from father, aren't you? I can take care of myself. I really can't believe that my brother has no interest in the legacy, Simone. You do have something planned, isn't that right? Just as I suspected, you suddenly became silent. <laughs> I should respect you for scheming behind the back. My brother, you know, the, the generic back. It's no use talking with the empty-headed moron who knows nothing except music. I told him that confronting directly to Minho would only get him, make him more stubborn, but he doesn't understand. Don't make wild guesses. I'm not planning anything. Oh, I see. I'll wait and see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, Minhayuk, you were here? What made you come all the way here? All the way here to the second floor? <laughs> you look so much better today. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> I, I didn't hear anything. It's, it's true. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Boy, I'm I'm so brave. Why are you so malicious? Why do you intimidate him? He's like a shadow in this house anyway. All I did was look at him. What a weakling. I don't need to care about him. He'll just stay in his room forever anyways. Aww. But his room has all his favorite things. However many times this comes and goes, I can't get used to the headache. The illusion was here again. <laughs> Yuna's probably flipping out. She's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my head. Stay here. I'll go find some medicine. I hastily snatched at her wrist. No, no, no. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I got this. I got this. You don't look fine. You can barely stand. It's not because of that. Because of what? I mean, that is... I realize the pain won't go away with a painkiller, but how can I explain it when she's so suspicious? I finally decided it'd be difficult to keep a secret that the reason the headache is hallucinations. I began to briefly explain. Oh, nice, nice jump cut, nice jump cut. So you see these illusions out of the blue. So you keep on seeing dead mom walking around and families fighting each other. Uh, yeah. Huh. You need to put a hand on my forehead. It's that her walking over, or she like put it on my forehead repeatedly. <laughs> she was like, slap, slap. That's strange. I don't feel any fever. Oh, don't be a bitch, Yuna. <laughs> she must be treating me like a sick person. I didn't expect her to believe my words so easily. It's not a lie. Then you really suppose I'd believe that. I told you, it's true. What a load of crap! <laughs> she frowned with an irritated voice. She must have thought I'm delirious. I need some other course of action if I'm to persuade her. Ah. Uh, I will try and persuade her with words. I'm not giving that bitch anything. I don't trust her at all. She may trust me if I tell her what I saw. 
What happened between you and Samoon? Uh, whoa? I saw how Samoon treated you. See what? He kissed you by force and urged you to open the safe. Was it true? How could you know? I saw it. Now do you believe me? I'm fucking Miss Cleo here, bitch. You pervert, what? You peeked all of them and pretended you didn't see anything? What? No, it was an illusion. Stop the nonsense! What? Of course it'd be difficult to persuade her without solid evidence. She looked at me with her eyes filled with contempt. I have no choice. Here, there's a document that was probably totally important and it had a number read on it, which might be the combination to the inheritance safe. This envelope was inside the safe. It seems to be related to you because it has your name. What? As I lit a match over it, Yuna started to read the content. She then smacked my hand down and lit it on fire. I must have been very concerned. Oh, that's fortunate. She seemed to be relieved after reading the paper. What paper could make her so flurried? What you said was true after all. She seemed to trust me after reading that. She may now answer my question sincerely. What should I ask her about? Oh. Hmm. Let's ask her about the document. This is a list of account transfers to my parents. What? Oh, her real parents. I get it. I'm adopted. Really? You already knew that word. Oh, really? Nobody in this family knew you were adopted. I heard that my stepfather, my, uh, I mean the current father, took me in, and then he left me at this mansion. It was quite recent that I came to know this. One day, two people showed up claiming they were my real parents. I didn't trust them, but they had evidence. So my so-called biological parents were in bad situations, so I had a lot of debt to pay off. It was because they wanted to get some financial help from me. Isn't that dirty? They never contacted me before. At first, I thought I would just ignore them, knowing that they only came after me for money, but I couldn't. After all, they were the ones that gave birth to me. So I was presently sending some money secretly when any allowances left and then some moon the son of a bitch found out about some moon a bitch he started to threaten me with the transfer list he'd been telling all the family that i've been leaking away this family's fortune he told me i'd be kicked out of the house if i refused to do what he wanted i know I had to do what he ordered me in order to help my parents although they've been no real use to me i was happy to finally meet them in person <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> yeah, I could understand that. The amount of money in the documents was no more than the usual amount for Luna, but it might have been a large amount for some poor people. They must have been saving up to help her biological parents. However, the allowance is usually intended to be used for herself or for the family. It would be frowned upon. And seeing that the other people are the biological parents who have abandoned her, even my mother would not allow it. So Moon must have wanted to take this chance to control Yuna. All right, let's talk about Samoon. So what did he ask you to do? Samoon made a copy of the sitting room and it ordered for me to go find and open the safe. He wanted to get a hold of the legacy before mom used up all the money, but he couldn't succeed until now. I heard that the passcode to the safe is separately kept somewhere. It's no wonder that Yuna can't find it. Is it because of Samoon that you got close to Minho? Uh, that's, you know, that's, that's fucking weird. We're a family. I know it's not right, but I was forced to. I really didn't want to. Please don't tell anyone. Alright, I won't tell anyone. Thank you. Instead... Oh god, please don't blackmail her into doing something. Okay, please keep it a secret that I see hallucinations. That's, that's reasonable. I don't want other people to worry. Alright, I get it. Okay. So, the pain in my head subdued. I think I'm recovered enough to walk around again. I don't know how important the document was for her, but now she seems to trust my words and I won't need to be taken for a killer anymore. Now let's move on. Are you really going to be fine? Yes, really, I'm fine. How feeble you are- well thanks, bitch. Sorry, I'm so feeble. Huh? There's a photo next to this. And... And what? And here's a million dollars. It's an ordinary clock. I don't know if I needed to go back or not. Maybe I shouldn't have moved that. Mm. I guess we should move back this too. And we're putting the room back together the way it was. Okay, so we know what's that way. And that's just dead end. So let's go this way. Oh, I should save. Okay. <gasps> yeah! What? Fuck me, that's a lot of breaking shit. I heard the sounds of things breaking and cracking on the other side of the door of the ballroom. I think that was some loud sound. What on earth is happening? It seems to be coming from the ballroom. Let's go find out. 
Scooby gang, let's go investigate. It's frightening. No, I don't want to go. No, you don't go investigate strange. Oh, hell. Two killers. Look at that. <gasps> that is... The noise came from the center of the ballroom. There were two shadows fighting each other. They were pushing and throwing, hitting each other with fists and feet as if two stray dogs met. One of the shadows was slightly larger than the other, and the larger one seemed mostly dominant. However, the small one was not losing either, attacking back whenever it had a chance. I couldn't distinguish. One of them must be the killer. Let's go and help! But I'm not sure who to help! You fool! We don't have time to think about it! Just go help either one of them! What an absurd and irresponsible proposal, but it was undeniable I needed to stop it. There was no way of knowing which one was the killer because it was so dark, and they were moving so quickly. I need to rely on my instinct. Who should I stop? Um, stop the small figure, because the small figure would be running, probably. This must be the killer. The large shadow was about the size of my brother, Minho. As I could see his back almost every day, I could easily... Well, now you can, so why... I know how well he- I don't know how well he fights, but he's good in shape- he's in good shape and he plays many sports. Blah. Even if the killer was so skillful in a fight, he couldn't be able to ha overpower Ming Ho. It's unmistakable. Large shadows Ming Ho, then the smaller one must be the killer. It's Chiyun. Yeah! The two people found me- wait, that was me? I went, yeah! The two people found me running towards them with a loud noise. They seemed perplexed at the situation and stopped fighting. I flung myself towards the small shadow as if I was tackling an American football. Not football football. The shadow, which was directly in the course of my tackle, stumbled onto the floor with me. Though when I managed to come to my senses, I tried to check who it was. However, I couldn't control myself. My vision got blurry, and I felt a pain in my stomach. Oh, did I get stabbed? Yup. I touched my belly with shaking hands. Warm liquid was leaking out. It seemed to be blood. Ugh. The shadow guy pinned beneath me, pushed me away, and ran out quickly to the other end of the passage. I couldn't I couldn't have a good look at the guy. That was the killer. I was chasing him with my eyes, but my body was out of control and fell down to the floor. Minhayuk! Minhayuk, wake up! It feels like Yuna's voice was coming from far away, but what's the use now? However many times I think about it, I don't like darkness. Well fuck. On the plus side, I did choose the right killer. On the negative side, my ass got stabbed. Hmm. Yeah! What? Oh, there's cracking. Oh, the ballroom. Oh. <laughs> I am gonna help the large figure. I'm gonna stop the large figure. Or. Whatever, large figure. <laughs> She's supposed to be the killer. Alright, I'm attacking the large figure. I'm attacking the darkness! <laughs> I'm a killer of good at fighting, otherwise I won't walk around in this environment. Yeah! False Bata! I tried to turn their attention by shouting out, and I rushed into them. They turned towards me. I flung myself towards the large shadow. The large shadow was directly in the course. Ouch! When I managed to come to my senses, I could feel that it was a guy beneath me. The face of the guy was familiar. It was the firstborn, Minho. Minho? Ah, Minho was out of his wits because of the sudden attack. Fortunately, he didn't seem to be seriously hurt because of the floor. Then the guy who was fighting against Minho was Chiyun. Watch out! Ah, ooh, Opa, brother. Uh, oh, did he just take a shot for me? Let me take a stab. I mean. He fell to the ground with a groan. The shadow which was fighting against him ran out quickly to the other end of the passage. Then that was the real killer. Everything happened in a few seconds. I didn't know how to react. All I could do was sit there and stare. Minho was holding his belly and breathed heavily. I could see dark red liquid constantly flowing out. He seemed to have been stabbed by a knife. Uh, Minho! Minho, what should we do? What on earth did I just do? Minho, do something! I came to my senses as the tearful voice of Yuna. I've read that I need to put pressure on the wound. Otherwise, you could die. Oh, is there going to be a mini game of putting pressure on the wound? I need to quickly find things that can be used to treat him. Okay, well, we're out of time, so we're gonna go ahead and save here while Minho's life, you know, slowly ebbs away. Yeah, that's no big deal. Well, nothing to worry about. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Please give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying me or the game or Por Que No Los Dos. Let's subscribe if you want more content. Thanks again. I really do appreciate it. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs>